Well, I graduated from West Point in 1977. I was in the Army for uh, 20 years, and during that time, had an opportunity to uh, uh, pursue a master's degree at MIT in mechanical engineering, and also through the Army, a PhD in mechanical engineering at Georgia Tech. I, th I think the most important things that I learned at West Point was one about leadership, working with people, working with a team, uh, realizing that as a leader it's not just about you, it's about the team and how the team succeeds and what you can do to support that team, and working under pressure, and working in a situation in which you can work under pressure but still not take yourself too seriously or take it too personal. When I left the military to go into business, I thought I would be learning some new things. And actually, I realized there was a lot of parallels. And again, it, it, it makes me further feel that uh, working with people and leading people, regardless of the situation you may be in, there's a lot of commonality to that. You may have to apply it to a military scenario or a business scenario or an educational scenario or a governmental scenario. Uh, and, and adjust, adjust accordingly, but the basic fundamental principles of leading people and leading teams, I think there are some constants there. Now the class I teach, it's about leadership, very much about leadership, uh, and it's from, and I tell the students, it's from a practitioner's perspective. Uh, a lot of times at West Point, in the military, in business, in, in educational programs, uh, business programs, MBA programs, that uh, there's a lot of discussion about the theory of leadership. And the, the, my experience with the theory of leadership is it gives you some tools, but there is no one theory that covers all possible scenarios in which a leader may find him or herself. And th those are the things that we talk about in the class. What are the basic fundamentals? What are the basic principles? Uh, I start by talking about how I learned them at West Point, how I applied them at West Point, but I by no means call them military leadership principles. I call them basic leadership principles and I give examples of how they can be used quite effectively in business. Leadership is something that is given to you by those that you are leading. And at any time, if you fail to be an effective leader, that gift will be taken from you. And I think as we look at leaders throughout history, current leaders and leaders throughout history, those that have succeeded is because they have served well uh, their followers. It, it was a gift given to them by their followers. Those that have failed have failed eventually because that gift was taken away from them. And that's what I bring into the uh, classroom with Eisenhower Leadership Center is the fact that there isn't really military leadership, there isn't really business leadership, in my view. It's about leadership in general because we're all talking about people. And there's just certain things about people, regardless of their nationality or, or anything, that uh, motivates people and allows them to want to succeed. And that's what the leader is all about.